For many centuries, artists have been admired for their unique and incredible ability to create beautiful and thought-provoking works of art that captivate and inspire the people around them. However, with the fascinating rate of advancement in AI these days, things are starting to change. Art can now be digitally generated using a few text prompts. Some artists are even taking legal action against companies that use artificial art generator tools like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. As we'll see in this video, AI is already starting to disrupt the art industry as a whole in ways that few could have predicted. From creating stunning digital masterpieces to recreating famous historic arts in vivid details, AI is giving artists a run for their money in more ways than you can imagine. The artificial intelligence technology has made a significant leap in our modern society. Nowadays, AI can make unbelievable things we humans could not have predicted. This brand new piece of tech is single-handedly playing havoc with many of the world's industries, from transportation to healthcare to even creative industries like art and music. We have already made a video talking about how AI is disrupting the music industry, which you can check out. I will leave a link in the description for anyone interested. But for today's video, we're going to take a look at how the art industry is coping amidst the revolution of the smart virtual brain. AI art generators have taken the internet by storm. An AI text-to-image generator is a software that creates an image using a user's text input, which is referred to as a prompt. These AI tools are trained on huge data sets of pairs of text and images. Some of these art generators are probably tools you've heard about before, like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. Midjourney is a generative artificial intelligence program and service created and hosted by a San Francisco-based independent research lab, and it was released to the public just nine months ago on the 12th of July 2022. Its cousin, Stable Diffusion, is a deep learning text-to-image model released on August 22nd, 2022. It also used to generate detailed images conditioned on text descriptions, though it can also be applied to other tasks such as in-painting, out-painting and generating image-to-image -image translations guided by a text prompt. Although the creators of Midjourney have not yet made their datasets public, Stable Diffusion has been more transparent about what it trains its AI on. Professor Bjorn Omer, who heads the Computer Vision and Learning Group at Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich, explained how the process works. He said, we did not go through the internet and find the images ourselves. That is something that others have already done. There are now big data sets which have been scraped from the internet publicly available. And these we used, mainly the LAION data sets, which are out there consisting of billions of images that we can train upon. LAION is a non-profit organization that collects image text pairs from Common Crawl, a non-profit that provides open access to web crawl data. LAION organizes the pairs into data sets based on factors such as language, resolution and predicted aesthetic score. These data sets are then used to train the AI model to make connections between the visual structure, composition and accompanying text of images. So that way, a user surfing the internet could, with a few prompts using these tools, make a stunning digital art and even win an award in some cases. A guy named Jason M. Allen created an award-winning digital painting called Theatre de Opera Spatial using Midjourney. The painting became a new story when it won the 2022 Colorado State Fair's annual fine art competition on the 5th of September, becoming one of the first AI-generated images to win such a prize. You see, these AI tools are making a strong impression in the art industry. Many people are starting to fear this digital cloud roaming their scene. Today, more participants than ever are engaging in the creator economy. According to Adobe's 2022 Future of Creativity report, one of four people, which means 23% of people, are creators. Contributing photography, videography, and creative writing to online platforms. Since 2020, more than 165 million people have become part of the global creator economy, with millennials making up 42%. 
Many members of society chose art as a mean of living, as a career to make money while expressing themselves through art. Very soon, all of these jobs in the creative field will be replaced by non-artists working with powerful AI-based tools, capable of generating hundreds of images in every style imaginable in a matter of minutes. But the question is this, is AI art really art? Many people think that AI-generated digital paintings are not unique pieces of art whatsoever. AI generators use pre-existing images and often merge them to illustrate a requested subject, concept, artistic form, and so on. Even among man-made artworks, some experts consider true art as that which is unique and emotive in a way never encountered before. The process of generating images with AI lacks the crucial emotional creativity that is often associated with human-created art. Artists like Greg Rutkowski, who is a commercial illustrator in the gaming industry, said, I'm very concerned about it. As a digital artist, or any artist in this era, we're focused on being recognized on the internet. Right now, when you type in my name, you see more work from the AI than work that I have done myself, which is terrifying for me. How long till the AI floods my results and is indistinguishable from my works? Questions like who made the artwork, the machine, or its user is a nightmare for artists. To think that their unique work might be taken from them by AI machines might be tough for them. So how are they responding to this? A lot of artists around the world are banding up together to legally fight AI art generator companies. Sarah Anderson, Kelly McKernan and Carla Ortiz are artists who launched a lawsuit against Stability AI and many other AI art generators like Midjourney. They allege that these organizations have infringed the rights of millions of artists by training their AI tools on 5 billion images scraped from the web without the consent of the original artists. Their attorney Matthew Butterick, a lawyer and typographer, along with Joseph Saveri Law Firm, known for handling antitrust and class action cases, have filed a lawsuit against Microsoft, GitHub and OpenAI. This lawsuit is similar to the one they filed against the AI programming model Copilot, which is trained on lines of code collected from the internet. On the 15th of January, Carla tweeted this out, As I learned more about how the deeply exploitative AI media models practices, I realized there was no legal precedent to set this right. Let's change that. Read more about our class action lawsuit, including how to contact the firm here. It is clear that these artists' mission is to make AI fair and ethical for everyone. Matthew Butterick said the tool is a parasite that, if allowed to proliferate, will cause irreparable harm to artists, now and in the future. The artist's suit argues that because the AI system only ingests images from others, nothing it creates can be original. And since launching its publicly available apps, Stability, an AI art generator tool recently valued at $1 billion, is not sharing any of the revenue with the artists who created the training images, nor any other owners of the works. This is what the lawsuit alleges. Another suit was filed by Getty Images during the same period in the UK for the same reason. This suit claims the company Stability AI illegally scraped the image's services content. But the court's view of whether or not that violates copyright laws will likely depend on how it understands AI to function. Although lawsuits against art generators are being made from left, right and center, Many people are standing by and defending these kinds of tools. Jason Juan, a veteran art director and artist for gaming and entertainment clients, including Disney and Warner Brothers, for example, said that the progress is exponential. It will allow more people who have solid ideas and clear thoughts to visualize things which were difficult to achieve without years of art training or hiring highly skilled artists. The definition of art will also evolve, since rendering skills might no longer be the most essential. Others brought the argument of fair use to the table, which is a legal doctrine that promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyrighted protected workers in certain circumstances in the US. Nonetheless, it is no doubt that AI has made a significant impression in the world of art. 
with the ability to generate artwork, analyze and mimic styles, and even create entirely new styles, AI has pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible in art. While AI has brought many exciting opportunities to the industry, it has also raised important questions about the role of the artist, the value of creativity, and the future of art as we know it. It is unclear what the future holds really. Thank you for watching, and click here to watch our video about how AI is disrupting the music industry.